Can you feed her? Come on, little rice girl. our new later time slot of 4 p.m. This is the end of Tate's first week back at school. How was it? Good? Bad? Fun? Better than mummy school? They've been so exhausted they've got nothing to say. So this will be an easy and fast bake along without me having to uh, compete with Chatterbox here. What are we making today? <laughs> have, you, have you lost your voice? We've got lots of highs. Will I say some highs until you're ready to talk? <laughs> Hi from Gorebridge. Hi from Emily and Sophie. Julie Purden says hello everyone. Andrew Forbes says hi. Hi from Grace and Kent. Hi from Emma and Abby Moore. Hi from Camilla. Hi from Elgin. We've got hellos from everywhere. Oh, hello from Angus. Hi, Angus. Hello from Logan and Scarlett and Lindsay. Okay, so today we are going to make, we're getting firmly in the Easter spirit and we're going to make mini egg cookies. Now we'll just, we'll start off with a, um, a warning that we may have an extra visitor appear at some point during the live because Brody, who is uh, Tate's little brother, is currently asleep on the sofa just there. So if uh, us baking, maybe when we turn the mixer on, if that wakes him up, he may just kind of wander in. But luckily, today, cookies is quite an easy one, so maybe Brody will just get involved. It'll probably turn into more mayhem than usual, but that's fine. Right, so. Hi from Anna and Erica. Hi from... Uh, Leo and Sterling. Hello from Catherine and Kaylin. Okay, so um, first we are going after, I think today I've decided to that you're just going to do all the work. How do you feel about that? Does that, does that, does that sound good? Feel happy about that? Because cookies are actually really straightforward. So I think you can probably make these all by yourself. What do you think the chances are of me letting you make them all by yourself and me not interfering? Slim? Slim to none? Yeah? So, I have forgotten to write down on my recipe what oven temperature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you guys, what temperature did I say? Maybe Gillian will be listening and she'll tell me. And I could go back and try and look at it, but it'll take ages. I think it was 170. So Gillian or somebody, can you tell me what, what temperature did I say to put the oven at, on at? Um, and then usual boring first step apart from oven is... 165. You think 165? Ooh, why do you think that? No. Oh, Alison Oliver Key says 170. Thank you, Alison. That's what I thought. Yes, and Julie Burden of Burden also says, Louise Ramsey, everyone say 170. Excellent. So, 170 and that's fan. So I'll put that on, and okay, and then uh, greasing a tin. So because we're doing cookies, we want some kind of big flat tin. If you have two, maybe do two because you want to put cookies quite far apart. Um, so I've got one already lined over there, and then I'm going to do this big one here. Um, so. We've still got 100 Empire Biscuits to ice. 100 Empire Biscuits? Maybe not 100. Yeah. Do so you know how many Empire Biscuits? So Megan, who is one of our bakers, was icing Empire Biscuits at the cafe today for the part of Farmer's Market tomorrow. Guess how many she iced today? 120. More. 130. More. 140. Go up in bigger uh, increments because this game is going to take a long time. 
Oh, so less. So a bit less. Right, let's take 
Here, take a yeah, take a big chunk of that. No, I'm very chunk. <laughs> Use that size, the slightly bigger one. Hi from Poppy. Hi from Simone and Maya in Bridget Weir. Look, tap, tap, tiny bit more. We're at 136. Tiny bit more. Rosie, Granny, and Granddad say hi. Hello. Hi from Freya and together. Selena. When they're together. I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. That's, fine. that's 145. That's fine. So, take you can pour that in sugar. And now we're going to mix the sugar and the butter together. Okay? So, I'm going to use my flat paddle attachment. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, and um, we'll just mix it on slow to start yeah. with, and then we'll make it a bit faster. So we'll just do slow until it starts to combine. I'll get the guard so it doesn't jump up. start doing that while this is on uh, and then I won't say anything else important in case you can't hear me so while we're doing this we're weighing out 280 grams of self raising flour okay right take can you weigh out 280 grams of self raising flour
uh, mixing the sugars and the butter together. And we did that for about three or four minutes. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in, no, no, just leave it there. We're going to add in one egg. So we'll get a little bowl and break the oh, egg. Um, I just being prepared in case you drop one, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> you can clean up. Okay, so break it in there. So one egg, break it into a separate bowl in case you get shell in, and then it's easier to pick it out in a separate bowl. Good boy. Yeah. There we go. Okay, mm. now that's going to get poured in. So one egg in with Do your butter. Do you need to whisk it? Don't need to whisk it. In with your butter and your sugar. No. And then we're going to give it a... So start on slow speed tape. So give it a slow mix to start with. And then once it's mixed in a little bit, scrape down the sides of your bowl. Can you jump off? So that's the egg mix. The egg's mix in a little bit. So I'm just going to stop and do a scrape down to get everything together. See, what did you do at school today? So 
I've turned the mixer on and it started to come together as kind of like a dough looking mixture. I'm just going to give it another 10 or 20 seconds. Okay, so the mixture now looks quite like a dough. I'll show you in a sec. I'll just scrape it all off my blade. Hands clean. So if you didn't hear me say that, I was telling everybody to, anyone who hadn't washed their hands, to wash their hands because we are going to use our hands to roll the dough into balls. That's what I was asking. What did you ask? Are we going to roll our hands using our hands? Mm. Yeah. And that's why I said, yes, let's wash our hands. Well, you said no. No, I think you said, or I thought you said, are we going to flour the veg? Okay, enough, enough, enough. You dry hands? Um, okay, so we've now got a, a, essentially a ball of dough. And this is the fun bit. Not too fun. Not too fun. So what we're going to do... Okay, so a few, a few people just asking where we're up to, so I'll just do one more run through and then we'll start make, doing our balls of cookie. We put the... What you took, what have we done so far? We put the egg in, we put the butter in, and we put the flour in, and we put the flour in. So we put the sugars and the butter in, we creamed them together for three or four minutes, we added the egg, we mixed that together for another minute or two, then we add the flour and the vanilla, and we now have got a ball of dough. So the only thing we haven't added yet is the mini eggs or the chocolate or whatever chocolate you're using. What you could do is you could mix your... Um, I want to try some white chocolate. Ooh. You could mix your, say, your mini eggs all through at the same time. But what I find is quite nice to do... It's, it's nice to have some mini eggs um, showing on the top, so we don't want to mix everything through because then they'll just all be sort of buried in the cookie, and you want to see some mini eggs on the top. It's also quite fun if you're doing it with kids to, to let the kids do their own cookies and see what they want. So what we'll start off... I will do the bit. We will take a wee ball of dough to take... It's probably about... It's probably a... Maybe a, a small handful for you. So I'm gonna weigh. I'm gonna weigh this to see what one. Again, there's no right or wrong answer here. If you take a big handful, you'll make big cookies, and if you take a small handful, you'll make small cookies. So mine, which what I would say is about the size of a golf ball, and much smaller, much bigger, weighs 45 grams. Takes what does yours weigh? Yours is 66, so, and yours is quite a bit bigger. So I would say you probably want to go for about 50 grams, but again, there's no right or wrong answer. And I'll give you a couple of different ways to do this. So way number one, Tate. So don't over, Tate's treating his ball of dough like a ball of play -Doh. Don't do that, because if you over mix it, it might make your cookies a bit tough. Don't touch it too much. So that's yours. Right, stop, 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 stop. Put it in. Put it in. Right, put it in and listen. So put it in, stop touching it and listen. Okay, okay. So there's a few different ways to do this. What you can do if you want something kind of inside your cookie, you can flatten it out, put the thing in the middle, bring it back into a ball, and then put it on your tray. If you if you just want mini eggs on the top. Then what you can do? So let's do it, let's do it one by time. What do you, do you want to do something inside first? Um, yeah. Okay. I'm so if you've got one. if you've just got mini eggs and you want to put some mini eggs inside, that's lovely. If you've got some normal chocolate, I think just one of these because they're quite big, um, and you want to put some normal chocolate inside, that'd be nice okay. too. So we'll do the same thing. So I'm gonna I've flattened my ball down. I've taken a white chocolate button and I'm putting it in the middle of my cookie. And then I'm bringing it back into a ball so that my white chocolate button is 
like hidden in the middle of my cookie. Here we go. Okay, so Tate, would you like a mini egg on top of that as well, or do you want that just to be a plain uh, mini egg on top? So we rolled it back into a bottle, and then we're going to put it on our tin. So put it on our tin. Okay, if you put, I think probably if you put yours by, we'll put yours there, <laughs> I think it's going to get quite big. Do you want to put a third mini egg? Because it's going to be quite big. And then Tate's just, Tate's just literally stuck his two mini eggs on top. The great thing about mini eggs is they don't melt, or certainly they don't melt in the time that the cookies are going to be in the oven because they've got their crispy shell around them. Um, whereas if you put pieces of chocolate on the outside, they'll start to melt, which is nice as well, but it's nice when you see the mini eggs and they're holding their shape. So next ball, why don't we've got a wee mix up here of we've got some milk chocolate, mm -hmm. some Smarties, some white chocolate. What are you gonna do this time? Some milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Okay. And Easter egg. Uh, do we crush the eggs? So yeah, if you would like to, what you can do, have you put a mini egg inside yours? Yeah. Yes, you can take I'm gonna do the amazing one and then I'm gonna put one. Top. Okay. So it's going to be like, so when you bite in it, it's going to be like biting a cookie of rainbow. If you would like to chop your mini eggs, the best thing to do is get a board and a big knife and then just chop them like that. And then you can either put that through your cookies or you could sprinkle that on top if you want. I think we're just going whole mini eggs here. Um, so my mum has just jumped in helping. Thanks, mum. So somebody says uh, it looks a bit like crumble, and my mum's just said just make it into a ball with your hands. So yeah, so, so use your hands and kind of crumbling and knead yeah. it together. Magical, and, magical. And it should start to come together. Magical one so it looks it crumbly. looks um, more crumbly in the bowl, and then when you use your the heat of your hands does bring it together. Excuse me. But don't play with it in your hands for too long. Someone says, can I always rely on mummy bake? Absolutely, mummy bake. Why is it so close to the edge? My mummy bake, so not, not, not me, not Kate's mummy, but my mum was a home ec teacher. She knows all about bake. She, she taught me, she still knows far more about bake than I do. Right, I'm going to do a milk chocolate Good one job is in the middle. Good job is baking. My job is baking, I know. That is such a... Okay, and then, yeah. you reckon that's enough space? Yeah. 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 So they will spread out. So give them. We're giving them lots of space oh. on the tin because they will spread out. So not gonna make very. So Tate's gone really crazy with this one, and we've got Smarties and mini eggs on there. The craziest one is that one. It's got. It's gonna be like biting into a rainbow. Mm. I'm gonna make a biting into a rainbow. Wow. So I'm gonna put a few mini eggs on top of this one. That middle. Uh, hi to Elsa in Glasgow doing her sixth bake along. Brilliant. I'm going full crazy now. Full crazy. That's a really big cookie, I think. Should we, can we split that up a little bit? No, no, no. No, because that's going to end up just being part. Oh my god. I remember the part where I said I was going to let him do it by himself. <laughs> I remember that. Well, that's why I'm doing it. Well, I'm going to make, I'm going to put a whole mini egg in the middle of mine, see how that goes. This is going to be the ultra one. What other things, Tate, could you put in cookies? Suggestions, has anyone got any, did anyone do anything other than um, mini eggs and Smarties and theirs? What other exciting things are people putting in their What cookies? do you think? <laughs> you show <laughs> them. Show. Go up to the camp, go further, go round and show the camera that. <laughs> Tate's made a face because. Move it back a little bit. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it. Uh, I'm going to put Smarties on top. So I made one with a mini egg inside and then just going to put Smarties on top. Wait, am how I going to... How do you remember who's is who? Am I going to put this on the other tree since it's really big? Okay, that's good. It's going to get a whole of water. Mr. Um, Man is going to get... Auntie Jelly says that's brilliant. 
Hi from Home Economics at Greenwood Academy and Miss Evans and Mrs. Herc is here. Oh, that's amazing. Well, big up to the Home Ec teachers because as we say, uh, Granny, Granny Bakes, teach Granny used to be a Home Ec teacher. Granny's got lots of good stories from the days of being a Home Ec teacher. Yes. She does. That's a good question. So someone's saying, do you flatten the dough? So we've put them all down as balls. So it's up to you. If you flatten it, it will probably turn them more into kind of flatter cookies. If you leave them as dough, what will happen is it will spread out, but you'll have a slightly more puffy middle, which I like. So I like a sort of more, a, a slightly thicker cookie in the middle. So I'm going to leave ours as um, I'm just make, I'm going full crazy here, and there's so much stuff inside. I'm just going full crazy. It's just this is the oh, this is the mega one. This, this is the is, mega one. This is just crazy. Is that gonna go in the second tin again? Yeah, this is. That's gonna go in the mega tin. This is um, so yes, I prefer to leave mine That's just special. as balls like that. That's but special. You can flatten them out. If you're gonna flatten them out, I would say don't do it too far because they will they will really spread. So just give them, I would say, just like a push to about that. So don't flatten them right out to cookie shape because they will really spread. Someone else is saying, will they spread out? Yes, they will spread out quite a lot. So for example, on this tin here, where we've got, I'm gonna go, in fact, I think I'm gonna go eight on this tin. So, you can see that. So I've left quite a lot of space on my tin because they will spread. And I've got a second tin as well. This guy is... I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just going like... I feel like this is going to... It's going to taste so good. It's just going to feel like... Again, biting into a rainbow. It's biting into a rainbow. This guy's got a baseball hat on. Look, what, I forgot what he is. He's just a plain guy. He's got a baseball hat Normally, 
in baking, you don't have to be so precise as to the minute. You know, you, you would add on like an extra five minutes or extra ten minutes. With cookies, you actually do want to be precise to the minute because. Uh, mm -hmm. wait, can you snap them? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, because an extra minute or two will change your cookies. So if you leave your cookies in for longer, they'll be more crispy. And if you go lesser time, then they'll be much softer. So I actually like my cookies so soft that when you first take as I have three steel sweeties. Um okay, right, why don't you go in there for a call? Send off screen for a call. Um Mine, I like so soft that when you first take them out, they look, they really do look underbaked. But cookies will continue to sort of bake and set for five or ten minutes when they come out of the oven. So mine have gone in for eight minutes. Some of the takes big, giant, crazy ones, I think, might have to have longer because they're massive. So we'll do this, we'll, we'll see how they are. Um, so. Excellent. Well, so normally at this point in the bake alone, normally I say, here's one I made earlier. However, because cookies oh. bake so fast, mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to wait. Until mine. We're going to wait and show these ones. So what are we going to do? We've only now got six minutes to wait. So not very long at all. So what and so someone, what are we talking about? We're just going to, we're just going to chat. We're going to say some hellos, we're going to answer any questions that anyone has. Hi from Charlotte and Gillian Nersky. Hi from here. You could, you could clear up to if you want. No. Nah. Is everyone being very good at helping clear up? I hope so. This, that, that's why um, mummies and daddies and grannies and people who look after you say no to baking because they don't want to clear up. So if you help clear up this time, and they're more likely to say yes to this. This is not a baking. It's yummy. Um, 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 um. It is yummy, but sometimes uh, when grown ups have got lots of boring other things to do, they think that they don't have time to bake and clear up. But if you all become excellent cleaners, uppers, then maybe you'll be able to bake all the time. Uh, hi from Freya, who's three, and baby Edith. Freya is great at tidying up. I'm super impressed that Freya is three and she's good at tidying up. Brody's not even, Brody can't even do this anymore. Brody's, he's, he's getting there. He's, he's decent. He's, he's, he's decent. Uh, hi from Emily and Mum in Skelly. Hi. hi from, oh, can you please be happy birthday to Elsa in Glasgow? Hi from Miriam and Nathaniel and Erskine. Oh, how long do they go in the oven? Uh, so I'm putting mine in initially for eight minutes and then we will check um, them after that. And then, oh, can you, can you not stop doing that?
Hi, from Lucy and Kirsty in Kilburnie. Hi. I'll take this one to the dishwasher. What's come over? This is excellent, Tidy. Well done. Does this one look like it is an animal? Hello, Tate from Ewan and Kirsty. These people actually know me, but they just say hello. My. Oh. Say yes to cheesecake. 
no, 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 no. Scones. There's quite a few scone suggestions coming in. Um, oh, mommy, 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 mommy. Let's see that. Brownies. Oh, we did brownies. So you can go back. If you go back onto our website, you can see the brownie recipe from the first week. Maybe we'll do a strawberry tart in the summer when it's strawberry tart season. And then someone saying have accidentally made into one giant cookie. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. You just you get a pizza cutter and cut it into pieces. You cut into nice fun like triangles and stuff. Um, Bakewell tart. Ooh, that'd be nice. I love a bakewell tart. Right, we've got we've got an outrageous number of suggestions here. 
So I we need to go in after after we've come off the live. We need to go through that and figure out. You really want to? This is funny. This pineapple upside down cake that got suggested a few two weeks ago. A few weeks ago, um, which I've also never made. So, well, maybe we've still got a few weeks. So we've probably still got a few weeks of people being off school. So we've still got another few bake alongs to do. And then what we might do once everybody goes back to school, we'll maybe we might not keep doing it weekly, but we will possibly do a. Do some sporadic bake alongs, maybe at the weekend or on holidays or something like that. Um, it's also encouraged us that we're going to make more baking videos. Uh, so maybe not live ones, but we'll definitely we'll do more baking videos and put more of our recipes online for you guys. Um, so as always with everything, um, if you would like to put pictures of what you've baked online and tag us. Um, please do that. So tag us on Facebook or Instagram. The easiest way for us to repost things um, or to like to reshare is if you do it as an Instagram story and tag us. Um, so please do that. And then I'm just seeing there and last questions. Just loads more suggestions. So many suggestions. I'm gonna have to go through this and do. Maybe we'll run another poll. That's what we did before. Or maybe we run we'll run another poll. Uh, oh, someone's asking, can we freeze our dough? Yes, you can. So actually, a nice. Um, that's quite a good way to. Uh, if you are going to freeze them, so you can freeze them once they're baked. That's fine. They freeze fine. But a nice thing to do with cookies is, as you say, freeze the dough. It means that basically what you can do is just pull out a little ball, stick it on a baking tray, put it in the oven, and you've got freshly baked cookies. Because cookies, to be honest, are best when they're you know on the day they're baked. Um, they're, they're, they will be nice a few days after that, but they are they are definitely best when they cook. So yes, if you um, you could bake a few of them now, and then you should keep your dough in the freezer, and then just bake a couple every so often. I want my cookies. You want your cookies? Not yet. Okay. Um, oh, somebody is saying I can just see Jill that has said I love this idea of prosecco bake along. I, I want to see what the original um, prosecco bake. Oh, somebody said. Jennifer Edwards. Hi Jennifer. That's somebody that we knew when you were a tiny baby. Tiny baby? Do you mean like... A sophisticated grown-up one wants kids are in bed at some point. That would be lovely. That would be lovely relaxing for me. Well... Good idea? Mummy have a little gin, do a little baking. More like... That'd be nice. Half peeps. <laughs> Half peeps. I wouldn't trust that you would be fully in bed. You'd just come sneaking in in your jammies. Ha! That is true! <laughs> um, right, so we will say goodbye to everybody for now. Can you please get off the workshop? Okay. Thank you very much. Um, thank you all for joining us again. Um, I want to eat my cookie! <laughs> How long do you think I can uh, keep this one away from Pella? I want to eat my cookie! The first lot are... I want to eat my cookie! So, so my first ones that came out have started to fur up enough that I can move them a bit, but they are still quite soft. So um, we will leave them for another maybe five minutes in the tray before we move them. Um, right, okay, so no, 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 you say bye bye to everybody. We'll say thank you for you all for joining us again. And um, post pictures of your bake so we can see your cookies, what uh, cookies you guys come up with. And we will see you. So next week we'll post, we'll figure out um, in the next couple of days what we're doing next week. Possibly scones because it looked like that was definitely a... Uh, um, oh, I want to just be fun. Like, this was fun. This was fun? This was fun. And you think scones are boring? Well... We could do flavoured scones. They're still good. They're beautiful. So we'll decide. In the next couple of days, I'm gonna post online what, what we're gonna do. What is this? Um, what is this? And until then, everybody. Until then, enjoy your cookies. Enjoy your cookies.